Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning. On our prayer request, uh, Bente has an unspoken request. Uh, Jamie is having panic attacks and depression. Pray they go away and he feels better. Evelyn needs prayer for her health. She hasn't been feeling well. I pray she feels better soon. And our friend Becky, who's at Vanderbilt, they're not going to be able to do her surgery until like the end of March because she's not strong enough to, to make it through the surgery. They're afraid she, she wouldn't be able to make it. Um, it's open heart surgery, you know. And um, so she has to stay there until then. She's too weak to, to run her back and forth, they say. And um, so they're going to keep her there. Um, I don't know if she's going to be like in a regular room or some kind of a, a other area they have, you know, to, to keep her there until until she's able to get strong enough to, to have her surgery. So pray for her. It's awful being in the hospital a, a, a real, real long time. It really is. <clears throat> I think the longest I've been in is 16 days, and it's horrible when you're in there that long. Okay. Um, Shadia, the YouTuber, sadly passed away. Please pray for her husband, children, and family. Marina would like us to pray for her and her family. Alicia needs prayer for a health issue. Best doctor put her on antibiotics for sinus and upper respiratory, and Carmen, her daughter, for tonsils. Pray they get better. Uh, Marina needs prayer. Let's see, that's the same. Okay, I had two there. Uh, this one is really the one that was supposed to be. Lorena needs prayer for her and her family and her brother Jerry. They had to operate on his lungs. He's had COVID three times and has been in the hospital for a month. That's that's awful. Um, so that was the update to that other one. <coughs> Miss Southern Bell asks us to pray for people grieving over their loved ones. Uh, pray for Leela. She hasn't been feeling well and she has shingles. Carlton is still sleeping a lot. A nurse comes in to see him each day, and his children help care for him so his wife, Linda, can rest. Pray he gets better. All right. Our scripture of the day comes from Proverbs 6, 22-23. My son, keep your father's command, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them always on your heart. Fasten them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. For this command is a lamp. This teaching is a light. And correction and instruction are the way to life. Amen. And our devotion today is entitled, Wise Advice. When the roof of Paris's Notre Dame Cathedral caught fire in April 2019, its ancient wood beams and lead sheeting created a furnace so hot it couldn't be contained. After the cathedral spire dramatically fell, attention turned to its bell towers. If the giant steel bell's wooden frames also burned, their collapse would bring both towers down, leaving the cathedral in ruins. Pulling his firefighters back for safety, General Gallet, commander of the Paris Fire Department, pondered what to do next. A firefighter named Remy nervously approached. Respectfully, General, he said, I, pro I propose that we run hoses up the exterior of the towers. Given the building's fragility, the commander dismissed the idea, but Remy spoke on. Soon General Gallet faced a decision, follow the junior firefighter's advice or leave the cathedral to fall. Scripture has much to say about taking advice. While this is sometimes in the context of youth respecting elders, most is not. Proverbs says, the wise listen to advice. Wars are one with it, and only a fool fails to heed it. Wise people listen to good advice, whatever the age or rank of those giving it. General Galay listened to Remy. The burning bell frames were hosed down just in time, and the cathedral was saved. What problem do you need godly advice on today? Sometimes God guides the humble through a junior's lips. In what situation do you find it difficult to listen to advice? How can you best judge good advice from bad? Father, by the work of the Holy Spirit, please give me the humility to receive good advice from others. 
And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out and share this out with someone today. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. And also later on, I'll be doing morning coffee break. So I'll see you then, everybody. God bless.